Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're using Windows 11 and want to take full control of your taskbar from style, transparency, and more, you're in the right place. In this complete guide, I will walk you through everything you need to know to customize your taskbar like a pro, whether you're looking for a minimalist setup or a productivity powerhouse. By the end of this video, your desktop will not only look cleaner, but also work smarter for your needs. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and let's dive in. Let's take a look at the options Windows 11 already has built in for taskbar. Now, if you go here to the taskbar, you can right click on it and go to the taskbar settings. And this is pretty much where all of the Windows 11 built in taskbar customizations are located. Now, the first thing which I want to touch on is the search bar. Now, here is the search box. It has four of the options, pretty much search icon and label, which looks like this. Then we have here, search icon only, or you can pretty much also hide it. Why? Because if you open start menu here, you also have the search bar just like here. So for example, you don't actually need another search bar here in the task bar. And in my opinion, it looks way, way cleaner. Then we have the task view, which I think it comes very, very handy to see all the desktops and also applications open on your computer. So I highly recommend using the task view option. Then we have the widgets. So the widgets, you can pretty much see here the web and uh, I also think that this is very, very handy to see the weather notifications constantly on your taskbar. However, if you find them distracting, I highly recommend that you turn them off. Now, Windows also has some new cool features for Windows 11 taskbar customization. If you go here under the taskbar behaviors, down below, you will find the taskbar alignment option. For example, if you want to have all the icons centered, you will put this to the center and this is how this looks like. Now, down below, we also have one another option and this is show smaller taskbar buttons. Now we can pretty much put this to always and this is what this small taskbar buttons actually look like. Now in my opinion they look a bit off. Taskbar should also be a little bit smaller by using this feature so I highly recommend that you guys put this to never and this is how the taskbar actually looks like here. There is also another option which is automatically hide the taskbar. So for example if you guys don't use the taskbar that much, you can always use this feature and go here down below and it should pop up taskbar. And now this is pretty much it for the Windows 11 built-in taskbar customization. Now for the third-party app, so the one which I highly recommend, and it's actually only one which I highly recommend, it's called Windhawk for your Windows 11 computer. Now it doesn't matter if you have Intel processor or even Snapdragon processor for the ARM architecture, this this program actually supports both of the architectures and it's super easy to install. Just go to their website, which I will also put a link for in the video description down below. And while you're down there, smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, of course. Now on this website, you guys can click on download button and you guys will get .exe installer and just install it on your computer like you would any other program. And then once you have it open, you should see a screen which looks like this. So on this screen, you will see pretty much featured mods, so which are most popular. For example, here we have this exact modification or the mod which you must install to actually customize your taskbar. And this is the one which I highly recommend. It's called Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. So pretty much click on details here and then go here to install button on top left and click on accept risk and install. Now, once you have it installed, you guys can go here to the settings and down below we will find theme options. Now, pretty much by default, this is set to none, but down below, you can pretty much set this, for example, to Windows XP Zune and click on save settings. And this is how your taskbar actually looks like right now. It does look a bit retro in my opinion, but nevertheless, if you want, for example, translucent taskbar, you guys will click on this, click on save settings. And this is how the taskbar right now looks like with this translucent theme. Now, down below, you have plenty of the themes to pick from. For example, you guys can also go with simply transparent for complete transparent taskbar. 
and this is what this looks like so it looks super super cool however the ones which i think look the best it's one of them it's called taskbar 12 you guys can click on this and then click on save settings and this is how this one looks like so it has the widget option here on the left then we have the actual icons and the taskbar here on the middle and then we have here the control center or the tray menu here on the right we have here the notifications the clock then we have the date, then we have here our battery widget, we have the volume, and then we also have here, if I click on this option, you will see here the system tray icons. And it also animates, which I think looks super cool. Now, if you want, for example, dock-like style, you guys will click on this one and click on save settings. And this is what this one looks like. However, one drawback of this one is that you have here the system tray in the bottom right. And unfortunately, you cannot actually hide it. Now, there's also another one which looks super cool. It's called Matter. And uh, this is how this one looks like. So it, everything is transparent, but the system tray, the widgets, and also all of the applications here open have their own background. Now the taskbar 12, in my opinion, looks the best and uh, it's super, super clean. Now this modification, it's updated quite regularly. Let's take a look. So on July 11th, you guys can clearly see there was an update and it also added a new themes. So if you have this mod installed, you guys can simply update it if you have an update available and quite regularly, it will get also new styles, which can spice up your taskbar style. So this Windhawk program doesn't only offer taskbar modifications, but it also has, for example, Windows 11 start menu styler, notifications, and every other options. So overall, Windhawk, I think I can highly recommend for styling your computer, especially your taskbar. Now, I will leave a download link in the video description down below for Windhawk. And now let me show you how many of the resources this program actually uses on my computer. So if you go here down below, we can take a look here at the Windhawk and you can clearly see that combined, it uses 7.6 megabytes of memory, zero of CPU, which I think it's really, really cool for what it actually offers. In case if you don't want to use Windhawk on your computer anymore, you guys will always go here to the settings, go to apps, then go here to the installed apps and search for the Windhawk. And you guys can just click here and click on uninstall and it will remove it from your computer. So it's that easy. Now, with that said, I think this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you smash up the like button on this one, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to spice up your desktop even further, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description down below. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.